Well, good evening, folks. What's up, Satellites? What's up, PM Collective World? What's up, R. Dominic? Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Good to see you all again in the flesh, such as it is. He, did, he does. He's alive. He lives. He's here. It's true. I've made it. I've made it back. And it's been a roller coaster of a ride to, to get back to this level of functionality. Today, like just today, was a serious struggle. I woke up this morning and I was like, uh, I don't feel too bad, but like I should work, but I don't feel great. So I was like, I'll work from home. And like real early, like 10.30, I was dying. I was like falling apart. So I, I took off from work and I laid down and took a nap and woke up from that and I felt absolutely awful. I had no appetite. Um, and then I, I forced myself to eat something and took some ibuprofen. My wife put smacked this like cold pack thing on my head. Um, and a few hours after that, I was feeling a lot better. And now I feel pretty close to normal, which is a far cry from how I was feeling just a matter of hours ago. So I think I think by the end of this weekend, I should be completely back to normal, I think. But we'll see. What's up, Arcane? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not hospitalized as well. Sun damage really does make you feel sick, it's proven. I mean, this is basically sun poisoning. This is me, me getting so so burned and messed up that my whole body was like in revolt, so. And I mean, it's still, it, it's still healing. Like parts of my head are sore for reasons I can't really fathom. Uh, so there's still healing to be done. And I need to, I need to manage my fever. I realize now that's been the real problem this entire week is I basically had like a six day fever um, and that messed me up pretty bad. So ma maintaining my temperature and all of that. If I can do that, I can do anything. What's up, Justin Brett? Yay! But the important thing is I'm here. I could do a, a semi-normal stream, so why not? Why not wind back through the annals of history with another Master System Odyssey, right? <clears throat> What's up, Eva? Yep, there it is. There it is. The surprise of literally no one. Good evening, Zem. Return to the Master System. Sky Children Light is now on Steam. I think it also helped push Journey back up in player account. Oh, cool. Nice. I... I don't think I've looked at Sky Children of the Light, but I haven't, well, I have been so messed up this week. To give you an idea of how sick I've been, um, when I haven't been sleeping or trying to work, I just kind of like stare at the news or something on my computer. I tried to watch some videos on YouTube and I didn't even, I didn't even feel like that. I knew a... I knew I was feeling better today because before dinner, I was able to watch a couple episodes of Star Trek Discovery, and that didn't make me feel awful. So I I I, I know I'm on the mend. 65 streams are enjoying the annals of history. <laughs> Good evening, Two Hit. Good to see you. Glad you're all here. Glad you're all here to join me for this. Um, there really is not a whole lot to yammer about before we get into it, honestly. And why should we yammer too much before we get into it, since this is perhaps our most time-intensive, our most time-based stream type of all. Thank you, it is good to be back. It is... <coughs> There's certain advantages to to streaming without a face cam. Um, I mean, I, I told y'all yesterday I could sit around my pajamas, bundle up in a blanket, be like super cozy and everything. That was nice, but I feel like it really misses something. Especially the kind of games that we play and the situations that we get into. I feel like it really misses something. 
if you can't see, like, my reactions to things, I feel like that's an, that's an elemental part of the experience. I'm going to wage a campaign against the sun now. I should. I would be entirely justified in doing so. Perhaps one day. It's the kind of revenge you want to let simmer for a while, I think. You want to... You want, you want it to, to run quiet, let those waters still, so that when it does come, it is thoroughly unexpected. <laughs> What's up, man? Good to see you. He's feeling better than the family opera made a name for himself under similar circumstances. Good point. Good point, actually. Mr. Burns' style scheme may actually gain some traction, especially in the face of climate change, sadly, yeah. great expanses of doom scrolling that I was doing uh, while lying in bed or on the sofa sick. <coughs> I remember seeing a tweet about some cockamamie article where they were asking, you know, if climate change is a problem, maybe we should just dim the sun or something. <coughs> Wage against the sun or you can race the sun instead. Race the Sun is a really fun game, by the way. For anyone who doesn't know, Race the Sun is a very, very fun game. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, and uh, yeah, it, it had me in its grips for quite a while, in fact. Jealous of that. <laughs> Think of all this chair is seen and done. <clears throat> Let's kill everyone, they'll stop climbing. Hey, people won't be worrying about it anymore, and more importantly, people won't be complaining about it. That's the real victory, isn't it? <laughs> Reddit promotes healing. You are going to come to regret that. I will do that for a minute, um, but nobody's going to like that. Hang on a sec. <clears throat> well, I guess with... The screen right in front of me is white because I got the uh, I've got the spreadsheet up for our list of games. Now look at that Seinfeld episode of Kramer the Neon Sign. <laughs> yeah, the white screen is acting like key lights. So actually, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. If we want to do like particularly <laughs> particularly warm lighting. This might be a way to, the way to do it. Obviously, this wouldn't work with like a horror game or something. So, but yeah, this is actually fairly doable as long as I don't look anywhere else in the room for extended periods of time. Uh, let's see. Speaking of our activities tonight, did you know, chat, that across our previous uh, Master System Odysseys, of, of which I believe we've had three. Have we done three or four previously? I can't actually remember now. Uh, we have covered 45 games. 45 games out of the total, I believe, 317. Actually works well with the red and the blue hat. Well, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, that actually does work. I'm totally primary colors today, now that we've done this. I've got the red lighting, I've got the blue hat with the yellow uh, underside. And then the yellow shirt. That's perfect. Good evening, library man. Good to see you. That's a funny good one. Actually, I was also thinking about that today. Like, how many actual good Master System games have we played? Uh, I'm not... <coughs> Excuse me. Well, Golden Axe Warrior was good until it wasn't. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. And their version of Lemmings was acceptable. Uh, <laughs> I think that Micro Machines racing game was pretty fun. I mean, some of these are just like Rampage is Rampage. Like, there's nothing. I <coughs> uh, remember their version of Marble Madness was worse because the controls were all fucked up. Guy dropped it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm. 
I wasn't earlier today. I went through a real rough patch around lunchtime today. Unfortunately, I was I was able to pull it around and, and come out on the other side. I'm hoping over, over the course of the weekend I can fully recover and be completely back to normal by Monday. Um, hmm. Some of these I just don't remember. It's crazy. <clears throat> is your hat based on that dress meme? No, my my hat is based on on people throwing coins at me to wear hats. <clears throat> Galax Warrior is like 70% good. Waiting for Alpha Friends Cousin to show it off for us, uh, keeping me from being from ever being jealous of Master System owners. <laughs> Actually, it reminded me that I do need to get this out here so I can manage stuff. Anyway, we're gonna get started in a minute. Mom. So anyway, let's talk about the schedule real quick and then we'll crack back into it and see how many games we can get through tonight. Uh, I've been trying to drink as much water as humanly possible because the big, one of the big problems I've had with this illness, I've been like, my skin is super hot and it's made me really feverish. Every night I sweat out like every drop of moisture in my body. Um, so every morning I wake up dehydrated and I spend the rest, I spend the entire day trying to get myself rehydrated just to go to sleep and lose it all again. <laughs> so hopefully that's going to stop. My skin is not burning right now. And <clears throat> yeah, hopefully sweating it out is getting the bad stuff out, but it was it was making recovery in other ways much harder because it just didn't have any moisture left. Guess you're allergic to vacations. <clears throat> they make a drink suggestion. Try checking out Wolf as a non-alcoholic aperitif. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. But I do think once once I'm feeling better, um, not to put too fine a point on it, but my wife got me a uh, two liter bottle of gin that I plan to crack into, so. <clears throat> Toby Keith has stomach cancer you never knew. No hat, stay cool, can do. That does actually make me feel significantly cooler, funny enough. <clears throat> All right, anyway, um, schedule. Tonight is uh, Master's System Odyssey night. Tomorrow night we'll be back to the power hours. We didn't get through a lot of the power hours last night, all things considered. I was a bit of a mess last evening. Um, I need to go to bed early. Uh, but we did get through the letters page. So we'll talk, we will talk a little bit about, uh, Secret of Mana in the academic sense. We'll talk about Nintendo Power's coverage of it tomorrow. And then, oh boy, it's, it's Super NES sports feature time. Which I know y'all are just raring to go at. And then no stream on, sa on Sunday, and then Monday we'll be back with Secret of Mana proper. And things will proceed at pace. Playing Shadows of Doubt again. Just thought about it as a possible current serial killers in the apartment right opposite for mine. Dude, that'd be hilarious. That'd be really, really funny. Good evening, Ms. Roy. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you're doing well tonight. As you can see, I'm doing better than I have been lately. At least for now but that's because I haven't started playing anything. So let's play something, chat. Let's resort this and... Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what this is. Okay. I have to remember how everything works when we do this. <coughs> I think... I think I load the game.
Okay, I think I load the game, which I did. What's up, Chaos? How you doing? I guess a, a bunch of you haven't seen me in my glasses, have you? Because I got them before my vacation to take all my vacation. But I never wore them to streams because I hadn't got my earbuds fixed and I wasn't about to wear them with the big studio headphones. I was just crush them in the side of my head. But <coughs> now that I'm back, I'm using my earbuds again. Everything's great. Uh, I can wear my glasses. How about that? All right. Extremely relaxing background music. You stop doing We're going to play... Hmm. Very generically named game. <clears throat> Glasses don't always play nicely with headphones. Uh oh god, how the controls work on this thing. Oh my god. Okay, hi. Well, I can fist things. That's always a good start. Oh god! Okay, I have a life bar. Oh, you can duck. And wiggle along the floor. Okay. Is it meant to be Alex, kid? I mean, having zero familiarity with the Alex Kid franchise, I couldn't tell you. Oh my god! I blew my ass downstairs. The ears, the punch. <clears throat> Are they quintessentially Alex Kid? Okay, I ain't fucking with that. I learned my lesson on the last floor. What do you think? Oh god. What do you suppose it is, is I should be doing? Is this a door? That is apparently a door to somewhere. I see some flashing question marks. Okay, I got some points. Okay. Okay, these guys suck. Oh, there's also restore your health. I know about that series, you can't spell Alex Kid without ah! <laughs> I'm stuck in the. Okay, cool. This is maybe outside? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. So this is where I just was. Where do you suppose I'm trying to go? Fun fact, this is one of the ones that wasn't on a cart, but was on a card. Interesting. Red hopping dude is great. Yeah, I hate him. Um, what exactly am I supposed to be doing? different. How's it? <laughs> We're ghosting. Well, fortunately, I'm very effective at both. Ow. Oh my god! So every time you go through these, you end up in a different place. <clears throat> uh, okay. Kinda hate these bats. 
kind of really hate these bats. Weird that the red is the remaining health and yellow is the lost part. <laughs> Wiki article for this game is great. There goes Mick, young vampire hunter, out to destroy five vampires, or Draculas, as the instruction book calls them. In each stage, uh, before proceeding to the next. In later levels, Draculas may respawn. So I'm looking for a Dracula. Okay. That does actually help things. Like, there could be a Dracula in that box. Oh, oh, oh god, I found a Dracula. <laughs> Goofy looking motherfucker. I think I got him. Oh my, oh my god! Holy shit, he turned him. Oh god. He murdered that man. What's up, Spice? How you doing? And apparently I got a full... I think I got a... Full, full life for that. Didn't actually want to be back here. Okay, you can't kill those guys. You just need to punch them a lot more than I did. God. Mm, keys went flying out of me. I was so bewildered when I started playing this. I, didn't, I don't think I even realized that's where I started the game, isn't it? Okay, so if you just walk past these, then there's a chance they Dracula will come after you. Wait, did these loot? I think these loot. I the random thought of something just called Ghost House on the PC-98, still, uh, typical PC-98 hardcore. <clears throat> I need a key to open the Dracula box. Oh, okay, well, I have a key to open the Dracula box, so god damn it. Quit shooting arrows into my head. Okay, we wandered past the Dracula box up here. Container for storing all your Draculas. No, what? Don't do that. Yes, okay. Dracula hunter goes out to fight Draculas with no weapons. This is like, I'm gonna punch the Draculas. And it works. He makes it work. That's kind of insane. That's frankly kind of insane. 
Dude from Nos Nosferatu on SNES. I'm looking forward to getting to, to that one. That one always looked interesting to me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm gonna make fun of him. What he's doing is insane. Like, truly. But... He is making it work. I can't deny it. So, Fury Fighter, how you doing tonight? Okay, I, I see a Dracula box. Alright, here we go. Ow. Is he just me or does he not do anything when he's in, like... Okay, he does attack when he's in humanoid form. He's just far more effective as a bat. Man, I am punching these guys to death. To literal death. Oh, okay, and I guess those are their... their seals or crests or whatever up there at the top. That I'm collecting. So I've got three. And we're going for five, I think y'all said. Oh god, we're done! Oh god, we're done. Never mind. <laughs> Any feeling out of your Red Skull cosplay adventure? Still recovering. Still recovering. I wanted to, uh... <laughs> Time up. Insert another coin. I wanted to work today and failed to do so. I was in... I was in terrible shape around lunchtime today. Uh... I had no appetite, like my fever was flaring up, I was like delirious, I, I wanted to sleep but I couldn't sleep, and then eventually I got everything to line up and got some more sleep and stuff, and it helped, it helped a lot, so. I May mean, I ask what the issue with skin phase was? Uh, sunburn. I had a sunburn, and that sunburn got infected, and it swelled up. Terribly. <clears throat> this. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Sucks so much, had that happen once, it was awful. Yeah, it was. It is awful. This is some of the sickest I've ever been in my life, honestly. Your bosses aren't like some of mine. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, shit, look at this. This will be fun. Um, no, my, my bosses have been completely understanding about this. So. Well, one of my bosses is on vacation this week anyway. So. And the other one is the kind to be like, if we, if we come to work and we're sick, she'll send us home and be like, no, just, just don't. Don't do not do that. No, no, no. My, no, my company is one of the best possible places to, to be sick, honestly. So it's a bug themed shoot 'em up, I think. I think I'm supposed to be some kind of little like I think I'm supposed to be some kind of little beetle tank or something. It's twin B but not as cool. There you go. I can have stars. Palm stars. Look, I'm driving. Seahorses. No. Way. Oh. 
What do y'all think of the dichotomy between, like, forward shooting attacks and, like, at attacks against the ground? I never actually like them very much in shmups. I always preferred to just have like basically one kind of attack. And I'm not I'm not talking about like in Gradius, where you have like your you have your lasers and then you have your missiles. Because both of those can do the same thing. I'm talking about two different weapons that attack two completely different kinds of enemies. <laughs> Okay, apparently there's several kinds of colored stars in this game that you can collect at random, and I don't know what they do. Oh god, oh god. And you are really fucking slow in this! No! God. It's like the fucking Austin Powers gag with the security guard standing there screaming at the steamroller for like two straight minutes while it approaches him slowly. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that in shmups. When your ship is so slow, you'll see an, a, like a bullet coming at you and there's just no time no time to get out of the way. Oh! 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 This is as high up on the screen as you can go. You can't go any higher than this. Why? Why would you do that? I think there's a reason this style of gameplay eventually faded away. Can we get much high? No, in this case, no we can't. Those squid. Those are squid, aren't they? Okay, I have... Okay, okay. So if you collect five purple stars, which I will remind you, appear at random. You can move faster. Oh God, Jesus! So all of your like, all of your power ups are by the fuck off, by the grace of God here. Oh, and then we when you die, you lose it. All right. Well, that answers. That answers another perspective question I had. Are there multiple levels of power-ups? I'm guessing there aren't. Because <coughs> it's not like anybody would live long enough to stack them. I am the sicko. Give me a complex system of elemental damage with seven different weapon types. LDR game is poorly designed. It's not what I want from a shmup. No. Except two things from a shmup. One is an interesting power-up system. Gradius's system is interesting. Our type system is interesting. That's all fine. If you don't want to put an interesting power-up system in your game, it needs to have just the the hardest, most balls-out fucking crazy gameplay. Like I need to be blowing up everything, everywhere, all at once. It needs to be Ikaruga or Mars Matrix or some shit. Yes, I know Mars Matrix has weapon power-ups, but it doesn't really matter because you just use a piercing cannon the entire time anyway. Maybe you don't, but I do. Oh, Bullets Master System weak. Okay, there's five different... Okay. Alright, what did... Okay, okay, red makes more bullets appear on the screen. Red means you can shoot more bullets at once. That's important. That is, to be fair, an important conceit in a shmup. And we know purple is speed. So that leaves green, yellow, and blue... Uh, green, yellow, and white to suss out. That was the purple one. God. 
two hits entirely too curious about this. Um, math. Who's Gradius allows you to purchase power-ups as you see fit? Yeah, Gradius, Gradius has a genuinely interesting system. <clears throat> I think I made you play Blazing Lasers, right? I don't remember. Unless, unless it's a personal favorite of mine, I gotta be honest, like, shmups tend to blend together for me. <laughs> Wids are motherfuckers. I hate them. No. What is what is blazing lasers on? That would probably. Do, what is this? What is this? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So those are actual enemies. Whoa! 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 I hate it. Oh my god, I made it to a boss. Is it actually it actually has a it actually has a counter on it that keeps track of how many hits it takes. That's new. That's new. Sega. TurboGrafx 16 Shmup launch title really good. Yeah, I never played uh Turbo graphics, anything on this channel, as far as I know. <gasps> no! Fuck you, man. Oh my god, your ship's too slow for this! There's Rondo of Blood. Oh yeah, there was Rondo Rondo of Blood. But that was yeah, that was a very no special engagement. Can I at least get a green star? Can I at least find out what the fucking green stars are? God, that guy just tried to murk me there. Oh! Turbograph 16 Splatterhouse, one of the best ports. I have no idea. I don't know much about the history of uh, Splatterhouse. Green Star's Green Street 10 seconds of the Witness Mines. <laughs> mm. Can't blame being a credit muncher with zero continues. Are so like <coughs> your base speed in this game is so slow. It's so slow. Oh, stop! 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 <sighs> the tank, aren't you? We look. <laughs> We look like a tank, but we have to be flying. <sighs> yeah, some of this some of this stuff in this game feel <laughs> it feels like it was scaled for you to have power-ups oh my god dude it feels like it was scaled for you to have power-ups but there's statistically no way for you to have power-ups at that point since it's all randomized all right we need to find out what green does green gives you eyeballs 
I've got friggin' eyeballs now. I don't know what this means. Okay, but it goes away after a time. Maybe that was like invulnerability or something. Ah, shit. What is the point of these? I wouldn't call it a super mode, but yeah. In, vul in vulnerability mode, maybe it didn't change anything else. It didn't t change anything about our attacks or speed or anything. Uh, those little missiles this guy shoots are actually kind of scary. Because they sort of home in on you, but not really. But sort of. So it's really kind of hard to tell how. Whoa! See? Piece of shit. <laughs> Has there actually an invincibility code for the game? Oh my god. Probably so humans can play it. extra speed, red gives rapid fire when the button is held, green gives you temporary invis invincibility, yellow gives random bonus points, white gives you an extra life, use the red and purple benefits when you die. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, an interesting conceit for a really terrible schmuck. <laughs> really just terrible schmuck. Thank you. All right, well, that's behind us now. What's ahead of us? Starting as strong as ever for the Master System. Hey, hey, Ghost House wasn't too bad. I got to punch some Draculas. That was cool. Oh, this will be interesting. <clears throat> this will be interesting. I swear every version of this game is something different. I'm curious if that's going to be the case here. And it's a, not rampage. Not rampage. Ramp part. Easy. Easy mistake to make, okay? Ah, and that would be why there's only there is only a European version of this one. Which is why I overlooked that. <clears throat> so Lojo High today I learned that I never changed the time on the clock in my oh, what the hell? There it changed the time on the clock in my room, which does not update automatically.
Hi. Do 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 do. Um. Prepare for battle. Nice to see you too, Lodra. Hi. Good lord, how many times do I shoot you before you get the picture? Oh, this is great. This is, oh god. Yeah! <laughs> The Union Jack across there certainly could be used as such. Place cannons. I can't. It's an interesting concept for a video game. Also, they seem to render the actual, like, these battles like this very differently. Whereas I feel like in the NES version, it's all the, it, like it's all the same. Like you're you're fighting and building on the same map, where they seem to switch back and forth here. Um, ooh. Ah, shit! I almost have that other castle. Really, really ugly way. Oh, I can put another cannon. Good for me. Shoot at enemy ships! That guy's still on fire! Ah, suck it. Do, 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 shit. Ah, double shit. I completely missed that. Oh, God, that's going to be like impossible to seal in. I, yeah, I need like a single piece there. It sucks. It's a winnable game or just a high school arcade game. I, it depends on the version, really. Like there's there are versions of Rampart that have like a campaign mode. And then there's other versions that are just like arcade score attack. See that piece of burger I made? No, I saw a video and went, that looks good. Nice. Okay, well, like, mm. Blue Army Conquers! I did it. I did it, chat. I conquered. Now I pick a new section of the world to conquer. I guess it's going to be this one. Yeah, castle. Do 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 do. 
Your ship is on fire. Maybe, I don't know, pull back? I can fit a can. I will. I guess one thing I don't understand about Rampart is why are the phases so short? Why do you get like 10 seconds to fight? And then what the fuck is that? Huh. Oh, I see where I could have put it. Oh, they are burning that castle. Have I ever played Carcassonne? I fucking love Carcassonne. Carcassonne is my favorite board game. I played a shitload of Carcassonne on, like, in person, on, uh, uh, you guys fuck off, okay? What do you want, Chief? What's, what's, what's good? Oh, they really want me to, okay. Sweet, look at all these cannons. I blew these guys up. Fuck those guys in general. Oh my god, why would you ever approach a fortress like this? Just don't do it. Ah, you little fuckers. I may be in a bit of trouble here. Uh, I can't fix can't that. Or that. Uh, or that. Bro. You're so lucky that Alex kid ah, has not purchased all the dragon coins. You're right. You're right, I am. You're right, I am. <clears throat> so that. That is why you would ever attack a fortress like that, because you don't you don't need to overcome the walls or the cannons. You can lose any number of armies or ships as long as you blow out a couple chunks of wall on the border of the map and they can't rebuild it. You win. <laughs> and that's how that works. Well, I'm the eighth greatest military master in the world, so. Good for me. <laughs> Other than the little do 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 do, the game had no music. Come to think of it, like none whatsoever. All right, what's next? Do 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 do. More space to fit tactical action. Mm 
This looks pretty fancy. Such a fun game to make a map. It is, yeah, very much. You did miss Rampart, yes. You did miss Rampart. It's too good for music. <laughs> Do I want normal or do I want hard? Holy shit! Dangerous holiday! That guy had a skull and a scythe and a red star. Yeah, that's a map, all right. Okay, we're rescuing dudes. Are there any dudes down here? Well, there's a car. Okay. First question is, how am I going to recognize dudes that need rescue? Is that guy? No, it's not that guy. Alright, so as as usual, it's the white people we have to save. Am I supposed to land? Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, five more white people to find. We have Choplifter at home, exactly. Just rescue people straight off the roller coasters. That would be badass. I would I would be all about that. Wait, how are you supposed to fucking rescue a guy? No! Oh! Oh, I can murder people! Oh, that changes everything. Ch chopter, chopter giveth life, chopter taketh away it. Yeah, the turning animation is pretty cool. Oh god, that resets the entire stage, huh? Okay, we're full up. You can only carry four people at a time. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> no. Chopter is Hindu goddess. Sure, there must be a better vehicle for cave operations in a helicopter. Maybe, maybe this is why you don't hear so much about about helicopters being used for cave rescue operations. But boy, they sure were popular in video games for them. Let me tell you. Oh boy, were they ever. Oh my God, I almost ate it there. The, um, the controls in this are really squirrely. Like, there's an element of momentum to them, but they're also just... It's really slippery. Everything just kind of slides all over the place. 
Parents got me a helicopter ride once I couldn't go. Now I know I made the right decision. Would have watched my pilot. Helicopters like horses and easily spooked into dying. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. There's the murder ball. Okay. Yeah, your helicopter actually has like a ton of momentum. And you really don't... Like, I do not want... If I turn to left right now, I think I would die. Oh god, no, 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 wrong, wrong button, wrong button. If for some reason they make the ladder so much shorter underground. Like, not helpful, buddy. Maybe this is mean, forget the K people, there are four people on the surface as is. I think you have to rescue everybody. I think the four at the top <coughs> is the total number of people to save. And I think the two is the number of people on the helicopter right now. Yeah. some points. Ah, the Halcyon days receiving points for doing things. Round two, Firestorm. Oh god. Ferris wheel people will climb down by themselves. Okay, so like... Okay, you oh wait, I do have guns. Can I kill these people dropping shit? Okay, so I need to rescue people out these windows. Why do I still have my weapons? Game which gave you a point for accurately shooting JFK. So nostalgic. <laughs> okay, there's a person. Who needs to be saved. Now that's a long ass ladder. Why can't I have that at my disposal all the time? Okay. Great. So I think this would be a really fun game if it wasn't just absurdly touchy. Like I get I get that, you know, precision and whatnot is important in games like this, but after a point it stops being fun. And there's a guy fucking flying around dropping bombs on everybody. Like us. Oh, get out the way. Okay. Cool. So I guess the jerks tossing flaming stuff out the windows are actual terrorists. <coughs> okay, I just need to save three more people. Not a big deal. There's two people. Ha! 
how in God's name am I supposed to get that guy? Oh no, there's like three people like right here. Here, get in. Get in. Get in. S sucks to be everybody else, but what you gonna do? You save seven people, I'll save seven people. IDGAF. This game is kind of depressing. It's too late. You can't do keep going after the timer runs out. <clears throat> I was just curious about that. <clears throat> yeah, game is kind of depressing. <laughs> like, you're saving people from all these, like, terrorist attacks and shit. Oh, really? Did we seriously not do this already? Fuck my life. I thought we did. Uh, happy game 50 on the list, I guess. <sighs> Shut up. Someday I will be done with this game. But today is not that day. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, okay. Turn handlebar to choose route. Are you, what are you, oh God. Wait, have we not even, we have not even started the game yet. Okay, easy street. Shut up. Let me play a freaking video game. Here's the thing with Paperboy. Every single version of Paperboy in existence has different fucking physics for the papers. So you could, in theory, become a grandmaster of one kind of Paperboy and be dog shit at all the rest. Because none of them fly the same way. bike is going affects the speed that the papers travel at, so...
Nice. Yeah, Paperboy is never going on any of my top 10 lists for old school games. I imagine... Looks nice. I think you're gonna get shot by walking in front of that bullseye. Imagine that it's 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 fame comes from just being utterly ubiquitous. Like everybody knows Paperboy. Everybody who played games in the 80s. Everybody who played games in the 80s and 90s knows Paperboy. But I'm always a little gobsmacked when I meet people that genuinely enjoy it. So we get a Paperboy roguelike with tongue cheek story. I mean, you can definitely make a good game out of this. I don't think I don't think OG Paperboy is too far off from being a good game. It's just so awkward and so punitive. <laughs> A successful arcade game? I mean, that's what I mean, it was ubiquitous. Like... I think a lot of stuff in the arcades got played because it was there. Not necessarily because it was good. So the music is wrong, it's for a different game, but I can't put your finger on it. It might just be the Master System soundscape being applied to it. Moon Patrol? Oh god, yeah, I think you're right, yeah. Let's do hard way. Try Moon Patrol real quick. We run out of time, okay. Perfect. I think the Moon Patrol theme is a little different. I played a lot of Moon Patrol as a kid. Because we had it on the Commodore 64. It's similar, but not quite the same. Of oh, course, the Grim fucking Reaper. Suffer for your hubris, your, your human hubris, and delivering newspapers with death. Hardway might have been asking a bit much. We can try the middle one. This isn't really much of an improvement.
Fuck. I don't I I don't think you get more points for getting on the the porch. Fuck. I think you get let me see here. Yeah, I think it's like 500 if you get it in the box and like 300 if you get it on the porch or something. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's 500 if you get in the box. Well, you got your paper. Yeah, 200 if you make it on the porch, 500 if you get in the, in the box. Fuck. That was bullshit. I am familiar with the hitbox on children on big wheels, and it is not that big. Let me tell you. What just happened? All right, whatever. All right, real quick, real quick. Do we have, do we have Moon Patrol here? I do not have Moon Patrol. There is no Moon Patrol on the Master System. Um, And I actually see a good way to play it right now, so perhaps next time. Someone has been waiting very intently for this one. I think this is I think this has been mentioned every single time we've done one of these. This person's been waiting for this to come up. So, I hope they're still here. Uh, these things never seem to have fuel when you need them. <laughs> That's a cat. What the fuck is that? Alright, there's a cat in my inventory now. Uh, I'm going to run from the pedophile. Okay, there's just pedophiles everywhere. And Alf died. I'm somewhere else. All of these buildings are closed. All right. Why are they just driving both ways in both lanes of the street? Wait, what? How is... what? Who invited your ass in? What is going on? What the... F How does this make any sense? From the back... Okay, from the backyard you go into the kitchen. The hallway. The living room. The downtown... Out onto the street downtown. 
which then loops back around to the background, into the backyard. I keep saying background. Oh. Good kitty. You did good. Um. <laughs> Why do you suppose I came down here? I cannot see a thing. I wonder where the light is. Looks like the secret entrance to a cave. What the... Dude, what the fuck is going on? Uh, do I want to continue playing? Not really, but... Alright, let's try this again. Obtain cat. Open door to basement. Die. Obviously. Oh, you have to push the A button to deploy cat. All right, and then we have the secret entrance to a cave. Why is there a secret cave under... It takes so long for Alf to jump. Like, he's really got to fucking think about it, okay? Which I... Which I guess makes sense. He is a Muppet or whatever. You never cave in your home? No, I got a good old fashioned American crawl space. Wow, this sucks. Okay, what if we, okay. Get cat, avoid pedophile. What, are they, what wonder? What other wonders do these rooms hold? Uh, this door is locked. No problemo. The alpha will just get a key. Oh, I bet he will. Yeah, the alpha. Ah, okay. So those are the connected connected bedrooms. So is that why we're doing all this? The alpha needs a key? I don't want, I don't want to do this. I really genuinely don't want to do this. Um, swimsuit required. Surely not. Wait, what was that? No swimming without a suit, that's no fun. Ha, huh? I will have to get a swimsuit. in the Omega. I'm gonna die if I go out here. Like, for sure. Guaranteed. 100%. <coughs> it's not like there's anything out here. All these buildings are closed. May maybe they open up at a... See, the hitboxes on those things are insane. They don't even have hitboxes. They simply exist in your vicinity and you die. Okay, so I think literally the only thing you can do... Oh. Oh god, fuck off. Salami stick, just the ticket for those nasty bats. What? What you gonna do with the salami stick? <laughs> oh, 
A gold nugget elf warbuck strikes it rich once again, ha. Huh? And dies promptly. Well, I got a gold nugget, right? What can I do with a gold nugget? What can I do with a gold nugget? Or wait, do I have to do that again? Because it's not in my inventory, so... I have 50 bucks? Oh, do I? <laughs> You're right, I got 50 bucks of cash. But what the hell can you do with that? Maybe, is anything open now? Maybe the swimwear store is open? No. I have about fucking had it with those guys. If I say yes, what happens? You just start back with all the same stuff you had before. I have no idea what you do at this point. Oh, there's a general store. Items for sale. I can buy a key. You can buy keys, ladders, fishes, and costumes. Give me a key. Any percent speed run of this is 450. Let's see. bigger than I thought. <laughs> At the five and dime, you can buy an elf book and a lantern. Both of them are a hundred dollars. A hundred fucking dollars. Cool. There's absolutely nothing you can do about that. Absolutely nothing. All right, anyway. What the fuck? I opened the door and some kind of fucking demon bug came out? What is wrong with this game? Can I- can I go in there? Whoa, what was that? Uh, I got- oh, I got a swimsuit. Okay, I got a swimsuit. I think that was it. I think that was the only reason we did that, was to get a swimsuit. Oh dear god. Oh, there's a catfish, Lamau. A scuba diver with a fucking harpoon gun. Who's gonna shoot us. Oh yeah, we need, we need sunken treasure.
Hey boy and his blob, uh, trying through random shit looking for treasure. Oh, you get one continue. Farther than the kid who owned the game ever got, by the way. Well, Christ, I hope a 40-year-old man can figure out what the fuck you're supposed to do in this. As dumb and bad as it is. Alright. Obtain cat. Obtain salami. Deploy cat. Deploy salami. Those times you can't- I dispute that. Strongly. Did I ever get to play a good game like Donkey Kong Country? No. <laughs> that is not what Genesis or Master System Knights are about. It's not why we do what we do here. Oh, death by rat. <clears throat> See, I would just stand there and let the time run out, but that rat will come up behind me and kill me. So. Unreliable salami stick. I'm very disappointed in this one. Is Alf really just beating the the bats off with the salami stick, or do like they hate the smell or something? What about beating them off? Beating the bats off with the salami. Oops, a deep hole. I knew I should have bought that lantern. What? No. Enough. 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 This is garbage. This is trash. Okay. <clears throat> Shut up, elf. Nobody cares. You made it just a little more than halfway today, <laughs> seriously? God, that's awful. What's up, Helvi? Last time I had to fly, the dude directly next to me was eating a bowl, big bowl of salami on a throw up. That should be elite. It should be. That's awful. That is a terrible goddamn thing to have to suffer. Curious about this one. <clears throat> Have to fly again in two weeks, maybe I'll get someone with fish this time. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, salami itself is good, but man, like... Okay. What seems odd about this? Think of cheese crackers and salami. Yes, this is a Fist of the North Star. They rebranded it as Black Belt, and I, I guess redid Kenshiro up in a uh, karate gi, but forgot to make it so the people he punched didn't fucking explode everywhere. That's hilarious. Ow, dickhead. Bonus, 10,000 points for exploding that particular guy. <laughs> I 
Look how smooth the jibs are. It's surprising, yeah. And they got a whole parallaxing background going on, too. No, just tapping up jumps. Oh no. Yuji, uh, Yuji Naka game. Kenshiro's favorite beverage is water! With things flying over your head, well, one of them is a... is a... Ka. <laughs> I think. Thing is, I don't think I can... I don't think I can jump high enough to get those. Might be a Chikara, not a Ka. Well, I can rely on chat for this, because I have to look at it in my peripheral vision while I punch like a million fucking dudes. Oh, hello. So we're apparently playing as a guy named Riki. Yeah, I didn't get a good look at it. <coughs> Loading these MS Paint leg sprays. Whoa! I would love to know how I did that. It's actually a fighting game super jump. It's down and up. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm sure it's explained to me. There's a discrepancy in how much damage you deal versus how much you take. That's actually a bit of a pet peeve for me. <coughs> Is boss fights where you do like tiny itty bitty slivers of damage to your opponent while they do huge chunks. And I mean, sometimes it can be balanced or, or abstracted to make sense. Not in this case. This is just some fancy, long-legged hoppy dude. There's no reason I need to kick him in the face like 50 times. I think 30 would be perfectly acceptable. Do 
I have- hang on. Hang on. Okay, now we're on some kind of safety. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm super curious about something, actually. Do I have... Now, is this a different game, is my question. No, I'm pretty sure it's the same game. Oh yeah, it's the same game. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we. You super jump and find out if there's flying things or rocks. I mean, I have, actually haven't seen any items flying across the screen at this point. So, I don't know. They ri you know... <laughs> <laughs> they really did go the extra mile changing the graphics. Parallaxing landscape and all. Seems a little harder than the other one. I might just be getting unlucky with this one. Ever fight Kenshiro? Why would you? Oh shit! Just kick me in the dick until I die. He's <clears throat> the white whale. fight this guy before? I, I thought I fought that dude in black belt and he just died real quick, but I guess some of the mechanics are different, too. But anyway, that was super interesting. get to experience little cultural crossover there. It's always really neat to see <laughs> how games like that try to get localized for cultures that don't know anything about Hokuto no Ken. You need to do something special in the show so Fab is immune to his martial arts. All right. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I hope I have enough space to get this one's name in.
Interesting game for it on the DS where you had to do mini games using the stylus, really. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Yo ho ho. <laughs> All right. This package on the machine. Scenario mode, exercise puzzle mode. All right. game me oh god what the fuck okay It's actually a lot of things. <laughs> there are a lot of games that use this conceit. Or two to my knowledge, games adding Sonic US, uh, cartoon character that had Sonic set M. And uh, Sonic Spinball. Oh, okay. Fuckers want me to combo shit, don't you? Uh, Christ. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be a pain in the dick. trying to do. Thank you. 
Puyo Puyo, but fuck, you're terrible at it. <clears throat> I used to be really good at Puzzle Fighter. My, uh, my roommate in college is really into Puzzle Fighter. <clears throat> and that was kind of his thing. Yeah, the only one of these you're ever good at was Puzzle Fighter. Puzzle Fighter was really designed for just ridiculous bullshit. This is honestly sort of reaching a tedium inflection point where it's like, why hasn't this ended yet? fortuitous. It seems like they send you uh, <coughs> really good pieces to help you dig yourself out, too. Okay, surely that's just gonna fucking end him, right? Please? Thank you! You won time too fucking long. <clears throat> Robotnik there looks fucking terrifying. Like, that, that is the creepiest looking Robotnik I think I've ever seen.
Oh, that could have been a lot better. <clears throat> Tragically. Oh no, time up. Oh no, time up. <clears throat> but. Oh, how tragic. Anyway. Anyway. What's next? Oh. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of these. Okay. Yeah, it's very sad anyway. Playing a game with Black Top for a second. <laughs> You haven't had enough corporate mascots in for one night chat. Here you go. <clears throat> Puyo Puyo is one of those games fun if you know how to play an episode as long if you don't. <laughs> well, it's upon a mouse, there's kingdom in a faraway place. Some interesting word choices. It was ruled by that asshole Pete. <coughs> God, just look at him. Smug fuck. And a dark shadow crept across the land. Withering crops and making people very unhappy. Just just a big general downer on the whole proceeding. King Pete's advisor told him the only way to cure the... Kingdom? Was for a king to journey out and find the legendary... <coughs> Water of Life. But I can't do that. That's my Pete impression. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Said King Pete. <laughs> <coughs> they colored it differently in any and everything. Trying to hide his fears, he pays nervously. <coughs> Excuse me. It was then Mickey, a lowly laundry boy, entered the room. Scheming nefariously. King Pete told Mickey he was now an honorary king. God, he looks fucking demented there. <clears throat> I had to find a cure for the kingdom. Mickey protested, but King Pete only gave him his crown. Left the room. Hey, your problem now. Mickey decided even if he wasn't a real king. Mickey's really shiny. <coughs> you ever notice that? It fucking glistens. Maybe he could find someone who was. And set off to find the kingdom of. Goofy? What the shit? So... 
Legend of Illusion is Mickey Mouse's quest to find, like, a real fucking king. Castle Goofstein. Fuck you, cat. I guess we need that block over here, huh? <laughs> Gosh, I'm a regent! This... This was a Game Gear game, wasn't it? Oh, that's pretty cool. Holy shit, it's one of the weasels from Reframed Roger Rabbit. Alright, I found the grail. Found another one. Maybe you don't drink from those. <clears throat> I know you've traveled far, but... Unfortunately, King Goofy is not here! He left some days ago to help his good friend! <coughs> King Donald! We have not heard from him and are... Sorry, Mickey or Goofy is another castle. Literally! <coughs> Greatly concerned, can you help us? I am on a quest of my own. You, you, you decide you're on a quest to find fucking Goofy. Okay, so now we're just in the woods now. Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> King Mars Cannon, Mickey usurps Pete and subsumes Goofy and Donald's kingdoms into his and makes him advisors. God, the pain. <coughs> Games cannot know. Never believe anything that Eva says. Ever. Just in a very general sense. Just don't, just don't. I'm sorry, what the hell do you want me to do here? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, that's pretty funny. Oh, these 
donuts I found. Oh, he wait, 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 wait. He wants to help me. Oh, God. Dude, the controls in this game kind of suck. slides around a bit too much for my taste. <clears throat> Once through the forest, Mickey came upon a large stone statue. Of whom? The fuck? Why are you wandering so deep in my forest? I'm on my way to Duckingham Palace. Ah, uh, you see what they did there? It's, it's, it's cute. <clears throat> to seek the help of a true king. But you are a true king. The true king was inside you all along. The cure you desire will require. <clears throat> the you to cross the two bridges of destiny. Where are they? Fuck if I know. You must prove your worth to a true king. Yourself. Before you will know where to find them. Fascinating, but time's up. <laughs> I heard Duckingham in my instant thought was no one in history has ever meant to type ducking into their phone. <laughs> true enough, true enough. It's really funny. <laughs> Pretty decent platformer by all accounts. Um, okay. <coughs> I don't know what the deal is with this cough. Like, it's just, it's one of the side effects I've had from this fever and infection and everything else has been wrong with me. I don't know if it's some of the fluids I loosed in my body because of this or what, but... It's super annoying, I can tell you that much. <coughs> <clears throat> travel airplane credit i feel like it's been too long for that like i've been back for almost a full week <coughs> and i wasn't coughing when i first got back this started a day or two ago as my uh as my fever was getting to its worst Taking from this is if I got to Tahiti, I will explode. I never thought that I would have this violent reaction to a vacation. Like this is this is shocked and confounded me. Mermitization process taking hold your grandkids. <clears throat> play more games. Just play more games until everything feels better. That's all. That's all we got to do. <coughs> Stage one, left two. Holy Jesus. That submarine looks like something. Oh my god, the giant bubble hurt me. What the shit? What is this goofy ass game? <clears throat> and why does this, why does the submarine look like something I've seen before? It's bothering me. <laughs> the 
to stop until everything in this ocean stops moving. We got the double torpedo upgrades. Took me a while realizing just hold these buttons down. Sequest DSV final season. What a weird show that was. Oh no, damage. <clears throat> can I actually Oh you can. Man, they don't do you any favors in trying to figure out what's background and what's wall, huh? <laughs> submarine em up. There are actual a couple submarine em ups out there, and one of them is fantastic. One of them is a personal favorite of mine. It's called In the Hunt. That game is crazy. I I'm trying to remember if I streamed it for y'all before, or if I've just talked about it. It would have been a long time ago, I think. <clears throat> I might have threatened to do it. But it is a super cool shmup. Fifty percent rate of good games. Love to see <laughs> when we're done tonight. Go back through and review. There's been some pretty decent stuff tonight. There's also been Alf. And you know how sometimes you're willing to overlook a lot of things for a good uh, for a, a a good game. Well, I'm a, I'm willing to overlook a lot of good games for Alf. anything, huh? There is, there is no ground, there are no walls. Nothing means anything. You can just go wherever the fuck you want. I mean, obviously don't, because you'll be exploded by bubbles. <clears throat> I didn't realize how many power-ups my, uh, sub had gotten. Some reason just spew shit everywhere, yeah. They definitely don't rely on uh, on stealth and cunning to attack and overcome their foes. They just spam shit. <laughs> hey, Dragnell. Good to see you. move backwards. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I was able to move backwards earlier. But now, for whatever reason, I can't. I don't suppose that's a fucking upgrade. <laughs> okay, now I can move backwards. What the shit? That was a... Good you're gone for a little bit. Glad to see you're doing all right. <clears throat> yeah, after I got back from my trip, I lost a couple days to this uh, infection I had, which was pretty awful. 
I seem to be in pretty... Jesus Christ. What the fuck they want me to do there? <clears throat> sure, whatever. Continue? Sure. <clears throat> ah! Okay, very, very small fundamental problem with this game. If your power-ups scroll off the screen super fast, your ship needs to be at least as fa at least fast enough to catch them. <clears throat> also, this game has no UI of any sort. So those guys. This is little red boats. They give me the things I need to live. Oh, what the fuck? <clears throat> so all the power-ups you need are on the surface. It, it's, it's those red boats. Other than me, submarines are bouncing around like excitable well, children. For a submarine game, there's like it's a very high energy game. <laughs> Stuff happens in this surprisingly fast. Be terrified to interact with the ocean in this world. Everyone is on crack. <laughs> I was a bit concerned about this boss, but... <clears throat> it's not as extra as I thought. Cool. Dude, where is he you your power for collecting five random stars? Yeah, that game is awful. Satellite 7. <clears throat> Alright, ten seconds of this level. What do we got? Okay, so here there are actual walls, but they don't hurt you, they just bounce you. And now we get our power-ups from, from the P-sub. And now we're fighting actual... creatures of the depths. But that will be a story for another time. <clears throat> that was pretty interesting. More than I expected from a game with as generic a title as Submarine Attack. I mean, they're not wrong. He is stored in the sub. How I gotta double check. How have we not fucking done this? I could have sworn we already did. It. 
Yeah, uh, Bizarre says we're doing we're doing ten minutes of each game. And oh boy, you showed up for a banger. So sad right now. <gasps> Don't load. Fuck. Oh, it's not a semi-random selection from a suggestion spreadsheet. This is everything. This is the entire Master System library. All 317 games just randomized up. And we play whatever falls in our lap. Like this. At, we're, at least we're united on Krusty's Funhouse. Like we we've gone back and forth on different games. I think I think I might actually be reaching an appreciation of Bubsy that y'all have never managed to to achieve. <clears throat> While y'all's patience for him is is waning. <coughs> y'all <coughs> y'all certainly enjoy certain games way more than I do, but everybody Everybody hates Krusty Fun. Anyway, let's get on with it. Hi, kids. Do you like violence? Pesky rats and infest. I don't care what the fucking story is. Hi, kid. Jesus, kill me. What emulator are you using? Uh, Genesis Plus. Doesn't seem to have any issues with whatever I chuck at it. <laughs> now, this doesn't appear to be a straight port. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. How do you... Oh, that's right. This doesn't appear to be a straight port. Uh, the SNES or S... Er... NES, SNES, or Game Boy versions of this. And yes, we played fucking all of those. In some cases, multiple times. Which tells me that somebody actually went out of their way to make a new version of this horse shit. I had a friend who was a super huge Simpsons fan, he was constantly playing these terrible games. I'm like, dude, come on. I especially remember being baffled by Funhouse. It has the bones of a decent puzzle game. It's just, it's so obnoxious. It's just, it's such... Because, like, everything about it gets in its own way. Like, the, the, the platforming and the pathfinding. Everything is just a big pain in the ass. Also, I think I need to bring that block with me. I probably just wasted a bunch of time. Oh no, wasting time. God forbid. <laughs> I say that this isn't a straight port because, like, the color scheme is vastly different. To the point where I don't... Like, I don't, I don't think it's just a straight application of one of the other games. 
So yeah, it's it's all the same levels and shit. Same level, same mechanics, every, uh, like everything, everything, everything. But I think they had to recode it, which is the real tragedy. <laughs> Somebody had to spend valuable hours on their lives. Valuable hours of their lives making sure that this piece of shit could be on the Sega Master System. <clears throat> uh, Krusty's Funhouse and the perspective of the stream is not bad enough. This is drawn out and boring. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not a so bad, it's good game, it's just bad. This shit's still, still better than some actual good games just because of brand recognition. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, we can, we can be fairly certain that stuff like Bart vs. the Space Mutants, or Escape from Camp Deadly, or even, like, Bart's Nightmare probably sold way better than a lot of things that deserve better because of Simpsons brand recognition. And that is tragic. <laughs> What's your favorite Simpsons console game? Of the ones I've played, probably Camp Deadly. <coughs> Camp Deadly's not good, but it is playable. Which is a far sight from a lot of these. What's the objective? Mouse rescue? I'm so confused why I feel misery building my soul. Does that come with the experience of playing or watch? <laughs> okay, so... So the conceit here... <laughs> is that Krusty's Funhouse has been infested with mice. And Krusty, because he's G-Pass, has to lead them lemming style to the Simpsons family who will murder them in comedic fashion. For example, Bart will crush them with a giant punching glove. I think if you get late, later in the game, Homer will, like, blast them with some kind of radiation beam and turn them to dust. I think, Mar I think Marge puts them through, like, a cheese grater. If this horse shit ever shows up in the magazine again, let's, uh, let's check and see what the methods of execution are. Oh, God, dude, yeah, there's... I want to say there's like four worlds in this, like four worlds of puzzles. And then after that, there's like, a, there's like a whole post game, like master edition of rooms that I don't think you have. I think the post game is not, not even mouse based. I think it's pure platforming. I think it's pure puzzle platforming. <coughs> which I never have any intention of experiencing. 10 minutes of this game is already 10 minutes too many. <laughs> I do kind of love that the, the uh, voice file are so much louder than everything else in the game. So you're just kind of like, like, doinking along, doing your thing, killing the mice, and then when you finally finish the level, it's like, hey, hey! <laughs> like, wake your ass up. Oh, I found a secret area. Good for me. <coughs> I don't know what any of this shit does. The coffee cups, the... That's an extra life. I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this. I do that dance while watching critters just smash alive.
Look, it's fucked up, okay? Nobody's saying it isn't. It absolutely is. What's going on up here? Okay, I think that was supposed to happen. I don't know what these guys are doing here. <clears throat> I need a block. There it is. There's that bastard block. Ah, uh, 30 more seconds. Leadline crusty bit brand coffee mug. <clears throat> Uh, I have played Comic Zone, yes. Comic Zone is a really neat concept that's really kind of... Oh, God, I remember this one. You gotta do that. For some fucking reason. <clears throat> Comic Zone's a really neat concept that plays out pretty rough. Fuck. No! Done! Done with this shit! Fuck it! Enough. Never again. Not on the master system, anyway. <laughs> and and that was almost. I've, I've beaten that level before, and the one after it, and the one after. It. I've actually gotten all the way through the first world in uh, in that game. I forgot which version it was on, but now I'm just reliving painful memories that. I don't want to rehash. Like Krusty's dumb house. All right, next up. This is definitely going to be a weird one. Why do you cause the pain to you? What did you do to you? <laughs> We've all made mistakes in life, truly. And, and for those mistakes, penance must be made. There are sins in my past that are, can only be repaid in certain ways. Um, I... find this next one to be highly suspect oh no there it is okay it just had it backwards from my list wow okay chat hold on your asses i don't i really don't know what to expect from this one it's it's japan only um even if i was doing intros for these i wouldn't have the first fucking idea how to intro this for you the grievous miracle this stream must continue Okay, I'm not playing the game right now. <clears throat> All right, All right let's, let's do this. Let's do this? Let's do this? Do any of the buttons work? Master System only had two buttons, right? This might be a peripheral game. <clears throat> we might not be able to play it. Well, let's see what the water trial is like and then we'll move on with our lives. <clears throat> What 
kind of peripheral would they have used with this? What is a peripheral game? One that can't be played with a normal controller. So like Duck Hunt requires the light gun, you know? Um, track and field requires the, the uh, feet pads, power pad, whatever the hell you want to call it. <clears throat> there are a couple. Uh, the Master System did have peripherals for it, and I don't have access to any of those. So. Only compatible with the paddle control. Got it. Okay. <laughs> control vibe, <Pachinko. laughs> All right, child, shut the fuck up. We're moving on from you. See this. <clears throat> Assume that one. <sighs> Last minute reprieve. I didn't, didn't 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 look that bad. I mean, maybe it was. Maybe it was fucking awful. But <clears throat> anyway. I'm guessing this is a shmup. This better be a shmup. The music is pretty awful. -na 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 -na. Intercept the enemy's surprise party. I love surprises. We are kind of getting an accidental shmup night. It's very interesting. Oh, I don't know about this. Just too many sprites, uh, a few too many sprites for the master system to handle. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not great. I mean, it, lo it looks fine when there's nothing on the screen. <laughs> Have spotted the enemy's aircraft carrier. I'm going in for attack. Bad Raiden. I think this is meant to be like a... More sci-fi 1942, maybe? <laughs> That's what it kind of feels like. The combat feels like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is meant to be a take on 1942 that's not specifically World War, World War II based. But man, it is not a looker. Was lacking. Did you take out the bomber with your face? I didn't know where the fuck I was at the time. pretty cool that you can get little option ships and they can then be destroyed <laughs> and by cool I mean that kind of sucks <laughs> I just unzipped this guy what are you doing like what the fuck are you doing Thank you. 
Christ. Take forever. Yeah, phase one was fun because you basically unzipped the dude. That was pretty cool. That was less fun. Yeah, you can definitely hit them when they're big. The mission is completed, returning to the base. Where were you, Blue? You lazy fuck. Thanks for nothing. I took all your bonus points. I'm not giving them back. Destroy the enemies. You don't have to put the text at the very top of the screen either, like right on the border of the screen. You really don't have to do that. I can't tell you how much fun it is to play a shmup where you can't be 100% sure if something is there or not. Really exciting stuff. It's also a real bad problem to have in a game where you're, you have to keep your options out of danger too. You're barely going to be able to see the shots coming for you. You're not going to see the ones coming for your options. These are weird bosses, dude. How did they come up with this shit? Life is a psycho pomp for airplanes. Mission is coming. That is a short level. That was a crazy short level. Can I tell bombs part of your shot is materially different? It is. It is. This is another game where you have your main air to air shot and then a second air to ground bomb. And there are certain enemies that can only be killed by the air to ground bomb. <clears throat> the next time I fly over some turrets. Pay attention to what actually kills them. Do you happen to have any emulate? Oh god, hang on. I I don't toast because I don't I don't do a lot of multiplayer. But I guarantee you someone someone in our chat will be able to hook you up. Alright, I have options. Oh my god, what if that was the stage? I've discovered the enemy's secret base. I'm beginning attack run now. Oh, you lose your pull. You lose your options for those. Ah, shit! Alright, my destroy rate should be like 97%. I'll take that. <laughs> also, can you just not die in those sections? Can I get more of these? Uh, I think the answer is no. <laughs> T 
So yeah, these little tanky dudes, they can only be destroyed with bombs. And I just lost an option. Those turrets can only be destroyed with bombs. sucks. This one's kind of not great. And time's up, chat. There it is. Didn't you have a bomb shot because I literally kissed it against the background? Yeah. Believe me, I understand. Alright, chat. I think that's actually going to do it for tonight. My earbuds are dying. <coughs> and we don't actually have a full 10 minutes for another game anyway, so I think that's going to be a good place to stop for the evening. Oh my god, there's actually a story mode to this. So what did we do tonight? What did we accomplish? We played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We did fourteen. We did fourteen. All right, all right. Let's let's count this up. I think. All right. So, ghost house. I think Ghost House was good. All right. Uh, Satellite 7. Bad. Garbage. Terrible. Uh, Rampart. Uh, it's fine. Air Rescue. Yeah, fine. Paperboy. No, it's Paperboy. Elf. Absolutely not. No. Um, Black Belt was okay. Mean Bean Machine. I mean... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it if you like games like that. Legend of Illusion was fine. Submarine Attack was fine. Krusty's Funhouse is shit. Uh, we didn't get to, We'll skip Alex Kid BMX Trial and Scramble Spirits. So, yeah, we actually, we actually had a really good proportion. Two to one good games, I think. Thank you, Lodra High. I appreciate it. Glad I caught some of the stream. Have you feel better soon? Thank you, Helvete. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, uh, tomorrow is going to be a day of healing for me. Um, as, as if today and yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before haven't. But yeah, I want to I be over this finally. Forever. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with this shit anymore. So hopefully I'll be in better shape tomorrow night. I mean, I, I don't expect a regression. I don't think we're going to have to do a short stream tomorrow night. I don't think I'll face cam off or anything, so. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, main thing is going to be trying to keep myself hydrated. Hopefully. Nah, I'm going to need to cool myself off anyway. So. And soon mass quantity. So yeah, anyway, tomorrow night, power hours. We'll talk a bit about the coverage of Secret of Man and then get into those sweet, sweet SNES sports games, of course. Uh, no stream on Sunday. I don't stream on Sundays. And then Monday, we'll be back to Secret of Mana proper. Uh, Secret of Mana is our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday game for the time being. Power hours happen on Thursdays and Saturdays. Uh, next Friday, I have no idea. We'll, uh, we'll see. Master System Odysseys are good good to just slot in there when I don't have any other plans, but I might try to plan something for next week. A wheel of some sort, perhaps? It's been a while since we had a good wheel around here. Hope you start feeling embarrassing. Thank you, Besotted Toast. Yeah. In interesting first night for you to, to show up. I was actually on vacation all last week. I was in Tahiti. I got terribly sunburned on my face. When I came back... Um, my sunburn got infected and this whole week I've been fighting like fever and infection and just awful, awful stuff. So <coughs> it's actually the first night all this week that I've been on face cam. Um, but Hey, I'm back. Finally back in the flesh. So. 
Anyway, gang, let's go raid somebody. Let's go raid. Let's go raid. What do we want to do? Huh. I feel like I haven't seen McQueeb in a whole in a long, long time. Let's go hang out with him for a bit. Wait a minute, random bits of you swelling as well. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, hopefully. I mean, right now the 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 thing now not not to go too deep, too deep in the uh, weeds with it. My face stopped swelling, but now like random parts of my head hurt, and I'm kind of wondering if all the like awful goo that was pooled under the front of my face is just like moved to different parts of my head, trying to find an escape and finding nothing. So just getting stuck in there. I shouldn't speculate on such things. Do you know a sunburn could become uh, infected before this? Yeah. It happened to me once before, not nearly as bad as this. I mean, it was painful, but I thought it was, I thought it was a rare thing. I thought it was something that wouldn't happen very often, but. Yeah, apparently it's something I got to look out for. Um, I mean, after this, I'm going to avoid ever being sunburned again. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to wear full body suits anytime I go anywhere. Like, like full environment, like HEV suits when I go when I go to like the beach or something. So. Yeah, this is this was with sunscreen. I used sunscreen every day I was there, multiple times, and it still ended up burning my face. But anyway, I digress. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Thank you for joining me for yet another Master System Odyssey. You're making good progress through the library. Fifty-eight games down leaves about two hundred and fifty to go. I think not bad, not bad at all. Some of them might even be good, judging by tonight. A bunch of them might be. So, but that is a tale for another time. Hopefully, I'll see y'all tomorrow night for the return of the power hours. But until then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.